hello everyone in the previous video we successfully returned our result here that we returned the also edit button and uh, now the time is to uh, get the difference between select and all so here we are returning all categories and uh, <clears throat> i want to tell you that what is the difference between all and select when you are using data table so let me uh, go to my video so here i'm going to make this uh, bigger for you so i'm playing my video so let's so uh, click on it okay so there is around uh, 34000 plus records and uh, when i'm loading this uh, uh, from uh, student to uh, colon colon all so it's loading 34000 plus so it means that if we have 34000 or 35000 so it will execute 34 or 35000 models so it will call them uh, for each record it will call the model so it's uh, also having uh, uh, 85 mb on the ram and it's taking 1.12 seconds right so it's uh, uh, consuming a lot of models if we use selects how model how many models it will consume so let me show you example so now i implemented the select right so let's check that how many models are consumed so there is records are still 34000 plus it's in, uh, executing 34000 plus so let me go to the new line so i will also add this uh, link in the description so you can check out my full video where i completed the example to a lower version and yes now you can see that it's uh, there is 34000 record but the two models not the, well, how it's very different so you can also judge this uh, memory storage so before this it's consuming 80 mb of ram so now it's consuming only 20 mb and it's uh, uh, before this it's consuming 1.12 seconds so now it's so uh, only taking seven seven four milliseconds so it's huge difference so the major difference is on this model from this issue will be happen when you are using some methods so you need to install this laravel debug bar which will exactly tell you that how many models are consuming on specific page uh, how many rams and how much it uh, uh, takes milliseconds so hope you get an idea that uh, how you can uh, consume your memory so here i'm going to add this through uh, select and uh, first column would be id and then name and then third would be the type right and make sure that you did not edit this get here if you add this get it will load uh, the exactly same like you are executing the all so you don't need to type uh, all so it will automatically uh, make this using uh, select it will make this collection right so let's give it a refresh it's also going to work without any error so let me close this out so i will also add this link in the description so you can get this video link so let me uh, copy this and add this into the notepad so i will add this so later when i will render this video so i will add this link in the description Okay, my PC is very slow down because I, I shooted multiple videos and it's uh, Camtasia is taking too much uh, RAM and it's uh, slow down my PC. And yes, we are now displaying the edit button. So here I'm going to make this smaller button and then I, I, will, I also want to add uh, some other buttons like I want to add the delete button here. So how I can do this? So let's go here and uh, first let me make this smaller so there is a bootstrap clause which is used uh, btn sm okay why it's not adding this here uh, my pc is not working properly oh let's added this btn sm and this sm is used for make this button smaller okay let me add this properly sm and then i'm going to add uh, another data property data id data id which is used to i want to get the id of this uh, specific record so here i'm going to concat this and first let me grab this id here so from this collection i am just only grabbing the only one record so it will uh, 
एक थ्रू द फॉर ईच लूप इट विल प्रिंट द फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड देन सेकेंड एंड देन थर्ड सो आई एम गोइंग टू ग्रैब दिस राव एंड देन राव आई डी बिकॉज वी हैव ओनली वन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड आई एम गेटिंग द आई डी फ्राम दिस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड पासिंग दिस टू डेटा आई डी एंड वी कैन गेट दिस इन टू द जॉब स्क्रिप्ट बाई कॉलिंग दिस डेटा मेथड एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू ऑल्सो एड वन मोर क्लास विच इज उप्स आई रिमूव दिस टू एड दिस एडिट टू बटन सो दिस विल वेन वी इम्प्लीमेंट द एडिट फंक्शनैलिटी वी कैन हैंडल द क्लिक इवेंट राइट दैट्स वाई एडिट दिस हेयर एंड लेट मी कॉपी दिस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू पेस्ट इट हेयर फॉर डिलीट बटन सो लेट मी ऑल्सो मेक दिस डेंजर एंड दिस वुड बी दिस वुड बी अ डेल बटन डेल बटन एंड देन दिस डेटा वुड बी सेम एंड दिस वुड बी अ डिलीट by the way you can also display here uh, font uh, with some icons it's totally upon you i'm just uh, shooting this for demonstration purposes that's why i'm doing this so um, i'm leaving it for you okay let's get refresh and check the results so hope you and now we are getting the smaller icon and we are getting the edit and delete button so now the time is to handle the click event we can we are going to implement our edit functionality so how we can edit this so this edit button is now available in this create blade because our jquery data tables are rendering here in this blade so now i want to edit this uh, edit this edit these categories so how i can do this edit button code right so here i'm going to first to add body right and then i'm going to add this on click so you can uh, you are thinking that you can why you are not uh, adding this uh, here directly uh, what's the name it's a uh, edit button so why you are not adding directly class so because we are rendering this uh, from the server side and sometime it's not going to work when we click on it so it's a click event is not working that's why we need to add this edit button so first we need to add the body which is uh, exist uh, in the body tag and then we are going to implement this so let me uh, implement this uh, click event for you so it's not going to work yeah, i'm just uh, telling you that how you can debug this out and stuff like that okay console dot log and implement this click save this one and go here and get refresh and go to this uh, click event so by the way first i need to uh, make this javascript wide because when i click on this it's going to refresh the web page so i want to prevent this action so let's go to the controller where i implemented this href so i need to in the href i need to add this uh, javascript wide zero which is used to avoid uh, the redirection of href right so here you need to add uh, javascript oops javascript and then you need to put a colon here void zero so it will prevent uh, this uh, href to make this uh, redirect okay oops javascript void zero so now it's good let's get refresh and check that we are getting the click or not okay okay and uh, i clicked on it and yes my page is not refreshed but i'm not getting anything when i'm clicking on it right so how i can get the click event so we need to go back here and i need to add uh, first uh, i need to add the body which uh, we define the when we add this uh, body tag in the html uh, this is the tag body right so this body will be a uh, this will i am just referencing this body tag right so if you are familiar with this one how we can get the selector and then i'm going to make this on on and then i'm going to implement here a click and then where i want to click so i need to mention it here so i want to click on this so uh, edit button right and then this would be a function right so now let's get refresh and check that our click event is working or not so hope it's going to work so let's go here clear the console click on this edit and yes now it's working click 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 so it means that now we are able to handle this click event so in the next video we are going to implement this so we are going to grab the id and then edit this into the form so i will meet you in the next one bye bye